George, just come out of the changing room. What, what's the atmosphere in there? Uh, the boys are gutted. I think you know they've probably um, probably felt we put ourselves in a position that we, we could have won the game. Um, but again, there was there was a couple of penalties early on, probably set us on the back foot, and then we were chasing our tail a little bit from then on. So um, yeah, it's it's a mixed bag. It's um, lots of stuff we wanted to come off came off. I thought the physicality, the work rate, all the bits that we pride ourselves on were brilliant. A um, little bit of execution could have been better and probably could have managed. There was a period in the second half we were down here, we had a lot of pressure and um, I think we could have managed it slightly better and just, you know, that was probably our moment really to get a try and, you know, we'd scored one, we could have scored another and then just built on that and, uh, and we didn't. We, we got uh, turned over five metres out and that was the end of that. Any concerns there's a bit of repetition last week, you're playing catch up rugby? Yeah, well, I think that was obviously. You know, we talked about penalties last week and then we gave away three in the exact area of the field we did last week really quickly and obviously I was thinking right this could be the uh, same story but actually it stopped there and then and by the end it was a, it was an even penalty count so it was that first five minutes after that it was fun. You must be very proud of the spirit on the side that they kept coming back didn't you? Yeah I was, I was really proud of them and um, I thought in this bottom corner here they were very very unlucky not to come away with them. Um, with another point as well. So, um, like I say, the, the things we pride ourselves on in terms of being a group, we, I thought we showed that in abundance. But yeah, there's very honest chats there, boys saying if I'd been on that line or I'd, you know, not missed the loop in defence or something like that. But um, yeah, but again, that's that's what we're working on. That's where we'll get better and better as we go along. So, what is the difference between where you are and where Lesser are at the moment? Then? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think I think they've got a little bit more. Um, Momentum possibly after a good win the first week of the season, a bit of self-belief, you know, they've obviously turned up um, expecting to win and in a good spot and they had a bit of momentum at the back end of last year, but um, I don't think there's a massive difference in the two of us, if I'm honest, I thought our, our set piece got on top today and, and actually dominated, which was, was really good and that's been a, you know, that was an area of strength for them previously that everyone else has struggled against, so I thought there was lots of areas we went toe-to-toe, -to -toe. I thought um, probably the difference was just managing a few key moments in the game and that, that was small margins. Any injury concerns coming out of this? No, actually, not as far as I'm aware. We had a few bangs in the week. We obviously, um, Johnny took a bang on his knee and one or two lads, to be fair, rolled their sleeves up today carrying niggles, but um, I don't think so. But you never know. My report gets sent tomorrow and we'll see where we are. And a reasonable contribution from the bench as well, Jack Clement coming on in scoring. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you know, Jack's, Jack's a really good player. He started for us last week and, and he's learning his trade and, and he's going to be a really good player. He'll get better and better. But I thought. Um, you know, you, you, you've got to say Ben Morgan. That was, uh, I thought, that's as strong a game as I've seen him have. I thought Ruin Ackerman, considering all he's played is 20 minutes, um, came in and, and played pretty much a full game. Um, actually, you know, everyone stepped up, and um, you know, Ed Slater did a great job leading the line out. I thought, um, getting those malls set up and all the rest of it. So, yeah, some really, um, some really good performances. And good to get Adam Hastings out on the park as well. Yeah, absolutely. You know, Adam's, um, you know, he's a big coup for us, and he's learning the prem, and he's getting more and more time and. Um, you know, we obviously went 6-2 today because we expected a, a physical battle up front, and that you know that obviously meant we had to bide our time with, with getting him on. But yeah, really, uh, really happy with the way Adam struck them off. And finally, for me, how, how do you move on from this in terms of preparation for Bristol next week? Well, I think you know there was a few things we challenged ourselves in, in the week. You know, set piece was a big one for us, and, and we knew less would be a massive challenge. So I think we, we take all the positives that were positives today, and uh, like I say, the honest conversations as ever because the, the boys are gutted. That I think there's lots of things we could fix where we could have made that scoreline very, very different. So that's that's probably the beauty of today is if there is a big positive, it's that there's things we could fix that could have scored four or five more tries. You know, we weren't outplayed or dominated or anything like that. So, um, yeah, from that point of view, we'll, we'll take positives from it. And I say, our objective is to get better and better. And the support of the crowd. Brilliant, yeah. I mean, it was great. I think, you know, I noticed it when a few of those malls rolled over, even though they weren't given, um, the place erupted and I thought it was outstanding and you know we will we will get better and better and hopefully in two weeks time we can give them something to scream and shout about.